So here we have the bonnet that's already been made. Um, so we'll be making the back part, back of the head, this part first, and then we'll be building up towards your forehead. And then there's ribbing, and there's the um, what's it called? I forgot. Um, string. I don't know. So let's get into this so for the tutorial i'll be using a five millimeter hook and then medium white yarn of your choice you can use anything um this is a uh yeah medium white yarn uh pound of love from uh i forgot the brand but it's called pound of love and we'll start by chaining um, 18 slip knot 1 and plus 2 And then the third, third stitch will make a double crochet. I need to pull the yarn from the yarn ball. And then, so make, um, make 18 double crochets. Three. Four, five, Eighteen. So at the end of the row, chain one, turn your work, and double crochet, eighteen. So we'll be making this eighteen double crochet rows. Let's see. We'll be making seven rows of this in total yes so once we have seven rows of 18 double crochets we can go to the next part so I'll be back when I have have um, seven double crochet rows. Now we have finished. I have finished eighteen double crochets. That's seven rows, and it's five point five five and a half inches in width, and then four inches tall something like this so now we will work around around here but not this here because this will be the bottom side so we'll work around this square that we made so now chain one and make 12 
double crochets in this on uh, in this side one two So that's 12 double crochets and now in this side on this on this side we'll make 18 double crochets Now we make 12 double crochets on this side. So we did here 12, 18, and 12. Now, we have something like this, and we'll be working around like an arch, not like round, but like an arch, we'll be working like this. All right, so I have written the kind of like a pattern so so far we've done 18 plus 2 that's 18 double crochet 7 rows and we did 12 18 12 and that's 42 stitches if you want to um, screenshot it here you should uh, you can um, <laughs> you can but this is what we're going to do from now So, we'll make a chain and turn, you have to turn every time, do not go over here but around here only, we chain up one, now we make 11 double crochets.
now make an increase of double crochet one two double crochet in the same stitch that's an increase and make another increase one two so we just made two increase after 11 one two three four five 11 double crochet and two increases now we'll make 16 double crochets And then we'll make two increases. That's one, two, and then eleven double crochets. The next row, we will make 46 double crochet without increase. So I'll come back here once I did 46 double crochets. Okay, I just finished 46 double crochets for one row. And then we're going to do the increase row again. So now chain one, turn your work, we'll make 15 double crochets, That's 15. Um, we'll make two increases of double crochet. That's one increase. Oop. And another increase in the next stitch. And now we'll make 12 double crochets. Now two increases, one increase, in the next stitch another increase.
make 15 top crochets. Now we made 15 double crochets, looks something like this so far, we've been working the arch, so chain 1 and make 50 double crochets, now we'll come back when I have 50 double crochets, I've just made 50 double crochets, now we'll do the increase again. My yarn was stuck somewhere. Um, so, chain one, turn your work. We'll make 17 double crochets. And then two increases. That's one into the next stitch, another one. Now we'll make so we're here. I think I'll skip this middle increase right here. So we'll make, let's see, 11 double crochets now. One. So now, after the increase, we made 11 double crochets. Now we'll make two increases again. One increase and another increase into the next stitch. And make 17 double crochets.
Oh, that was 18 double crochets. Hmm. So we made... Seventeen double crochet and two increases. Eleven double crochet, two increases. And eighteen double crochet. And then we will make double crochet all the way to the other side. I'll come back when I have that done. So I just finished making double crochet around the arch. So I did 54 double crochets. Let's forget about the paper now because I changed it. Um, so now chain one. Turn your work and eighteen double crochets. So I made two, four, I made eighteen double crochets. Now we'll make two increases. And let's see. I will make fourteen. I'll make fourteen double crochets, so I'm slow. And we'll make another two increases. That's one. Next stitch. That's another one. Now we'll make 18 double crochets.
we have something like this so far if you fold it now we'll go around with the double crochet rows I'll make sure that it fits my head um, properly I'll let you know how many rows I make of double crochets um, we'll, we'll not do any more increases we'll just do the double crochet so I'll be back so I did three rows of double crochets without increase um, three rows and that was 58 uh, stitches now chain one you can totally adjust your um, rows but I did three after the, the increase now chain one turn your work I already turned my work now we'll make 18 single crochets One, two, But before you add more rows to that, um, not this, not this row, but before that, um, remember that we'll be adding the ribbing as well after this. So I did twelve single crochet, this fourteen, fifteen, si sixteen, seventeen. 18 and make one half double crochet and then make 20 double crochets I'm kind of making this as I making this up as I go because uh, the first one I made was a little bit too big so I'm changing it but so that's five ten Twenty. Now we'll make one half double crochet. And for the rest of the row, we'll make 18 single crochets.
Okay. Team one to new work. Here's how it looks so far. So we'll make um, 58 double crochet. This is the last part. Not the very last, but the last part of the, the main part. I don't know how to explain. But 58 double crochets. Now come back when we have that. Okay, so now we have done 58 double crochets. We'll do the ribbing. Um, ribbing consists of one, only one row. One row. Um, that is, uh, I'll show you, but chain one. Turn your work. So I will be doing um, front post and back post double crochet um, ribbing. So I don't know how to explain this. Yarn over, put your hook from the back to the front, and take the yarn and pull up a loop. That's one from a uh, post double crochet. Um, I will be doing three by three, but you can do two, two, or one, one, or I like doing three, so I'll do three on post. Yarn over, put your hook through the from the the, the back and to the front. Yarn over, pull up loop, pull through two, pull through two. Uh, that's, I think that's how we do it. Front post, uh, pushing it. Now we do the back. The back one is yarn over first. Now we put a hook here. Into the front, into the back. So, front to back, and then pull the loop like this. Pull through two, pull through two. I'm doing it slow mo. Two. Back to front, front to back, pull one, pull for two, pull for two. So that's the ribbing I'm gonna do. I'll just do for the entire row. It might not end with three at the end, but um, if you want to adjust that, you can, but I think I'll just go with three by three oops I'll come back and show you the next part. I'm just now finishing the ribbing part. Um, so three by three worked. I think, yeah. So now I have the last stitch. I'll double crochet like normally. Chain one. We'll be working on the bottom part now, bottom part, not the arch part. We are going to crochet all the way across, all the way to the other side, here.
I'm kind of making it so that it cinches a little. I'm not like I'm not making half double crochet in every loop like you see. I'm making it so that it kind of shrinks on the bottom. That makes sense. But again, you, you don't really have to do do the skip if, I don't know, but uh, yeah. Because this part, bottom part is kind of wide and I wanted to like, I don't know how to explain in English. Basically, I don't want it like a uh, floppy, I guess. Yeah, so I will come back until I made all the way across with half double crochet. I'm now finishing the half double crochet. I came back with to the other side. So we started here with half double crochet, now we're here. And then we'll make the um, the string. I really can't remember what it's called, but we'll chain 50. And then come back with a slip stitch here. So I'll show you. Three, four. just made 50 um, 50 chains we'll go back with slip stitch Oop. I don't really enjoy slip stitching that much especially when it's a chain Almost there. So we are almost done. We just need to make this in another half double crochet row and the string again. We're almost done. Alright. Make sure if you change the amount of chain, make sure to chain the exact same amount for the both sides, for both sides. Because you don't want one long and one shorter. Okay. Now, go back here with half double crochet again. Not here, this is a ribbing we did. We do the bottom part again onto the other side. I'll show you. 
when I'm done. Okay. So I decided to. So I started from here. After five. Was it five? One, two, three, four, five. Five dub, uh, half double crochet. I decided to do one decrease. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then one decrease. One, two, three, four, five. One decrease. Perfect. Okay. Now we make another one of this and we're done. So chain 50 and slip stitch. And I'll show you when I'm back here with a slip stitch after 50 substitutes. Or 49 whatever now you have your 50 slip stitches into the chains that we made we will make a slip stitch here chain 2 and cut the yarn Pull tight. Now take your yarn needle and maybe in the end. It's actually quite nice because you only have one end to, to uh, weave in. You can do go any directions. Um, I'm just going this way. Back into the half of crochet row. Oh, sorry. Tend to forget about the camera. And what I like to do now is go back into that loop. Go into this loop. Pull. And then weaving again. I like making it very secure. And weaving again. Cut. Ta da! Now you have your. Bonnet. Yay! Thank you for watching. So this is the end result of the tutorial um, bonnet. So the first one I made here for the tutorial. Oh, it's like this. So it's kind of wide here. So. I think you see the reason why I made the half double crochet decrease here is that 
to kind of make it fit on the head. So this is what I made during the tutorial video. This is the half double crochet row that we did at the end. This is the back. So, um, one thing is that uh, if you plan on posting on social media or plan to sell, um, I would absolutely love if you can mention me in the description for your stuff. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much. Bye bye. I look weird. <laughs> Looks so weird.